I met with a client the other day that was extremely unhappy. He was on the verge of giving his dog away. This previously well-trained pet was having urinary accidents in the house. He thought the dog was trying to get even with him because he was spending too much time at work. I convinced him to let me run some blood and urine tests and discovered the dog was not suffering from a case of separation anxiety, but rather from diabetes mellitus, sugar diabetes. Diabetes mellitus is a fairly common condition in pets and people. Dogs have a type of diabetes that's more similar to that seen in children, type 1. They lack sufficient insulin. Cats tend to mimic human onset diabetes, type 2, which could often be controlled with dietary changes or oral medications. The hallmark of diabetes mellitus is too much sugar in the bloodstream. Sugar, in the form of glucose, is unable to get into the cells where it's used as an energy source. This can be due to the failure of insulin production by a gland called the pancreas, type 1 diabetes, or the inability of the cells to respond properly to the insulin that's present, type 2 diabetes. The body believes that it's in a state of starvation. In an attempt to find an alternate source of energy, the body starts to break down its reserves of protein and fat. This leads to a loss of body condition. Under normal circumstances, sugar is not lost in the urine. With diabetes, sugar is voided along with large quantities of water. This excessive urination leads to an increase in thirst and increased water intake. The main signs that you may see in an uncontrolled diabetic dog or cat are increased thirst, increased urination, and increased appetite. Why does the pancreas fail to produce adequate insulin or the cells not respond properly? This is still an area of active investigation. If your veterinarian diagnoses your pet with diabetes mellitus, don't panic. Working as a team, you and your veterinarian can typically regulate this condition with modifications in feeding, insulin injections, and or oral medication, and the monitoring of blood sugar. Some pets are easier to regulate than others, but it can be done. What can happen to your pet if you don't address this disease? Potential complications of diabetes are cataracts, urinary tract infections, seizures, organ failure, and even death. Want to learn more about diabetes mellitus? Just ask your veterinarian. Thank you for watching our video. Please take a moment to visit our websites, Dr. Deborah Garrison at the Treshwig Veterinary Clinic, loveyourdog.com, loveyourcat.com, tvet.com, mypetcaretv.com, and petdocsoncall.com. Thank you, and we wish you and your pet a happy and long life.